there, my name's Kim Cookson, also known as Canada's Art Mama or just Art Mama. I bring you helpful tips to get you into the game of art for health, happiness, and even recovery. Each tip is just a little snippet of an idea that you can do and you can carry on on your own. You don't have to copy and paint or draw like me. That's the whole thing. Doing art for therapy and fun is for you. And drawing it like me is okay. I mean, maybe I take that as a great honor, but I'd rather give you the tip and let you go on your way. Sometimes though, I will be having classes that are a little longer and uh, it will go step by step. But for right now, we're just doing tips. So anyway, stay tuned. Today's tip is about lines and color and how to take the simplest picture or look at a picture and turn it into something that's a little more abstract. Like for example, this is Pablo Picasso's work. And this was part of his blue period, even though this part of, it's not as blue, but this part of his blue period. And what's that all about, that blue period? Well, art has movements. And if over history, what's happened out in our culture has influenced the artist's movement. Right now, uh, year 2020, um, I'm dating this video, but just so you know, for those of you who are watching right in this present year, there's all kinds of movements that are going on because everyone takes just a little of this and a little of that and develops their own style. But there's, if, if you were to go to bigger centers, you could see all kinds of new movements arising in galleries. So the, what I want to do is I want to show you, I've taken a picture here of my partner and if you can get a close up of that. And then what I've done is I've drawn it out, very simple, very simple, I've drawn it out. It doesn't have to be, it's just the outline. And then once I draw it out, I then do, I build patterns and lines within, lots of patterns and lines. And it can be really almost like doodling. You're doing all kinds of variations, have fun, go wild. Fun is in failure. Trust me, because in the failure, you'll say, oh, or you think it's a failure, or you think it's unusual. You'll say, oh, look what I've discovered. It's the magic, actually. So try to push yourself and draw lines that would not normally be your normal direction. Say, oh, try that, or try that, or try this way, or try that way. Then you color. Now, I did a warm and cool. Now it looks like almost like a tattoo artist, <laughs> but I just had fun. And I put it on some painted paper and I used cools and warm colors. And I just had a lot of fun with this. Kind of looks like an armored Titan warrior, doesn't he? But I had fun. So I took a simple, I took a picture and I turned it into something fun. I had a great time doing it. And I used magic markers and pens and pencil. I used a variety of uh, mediums. And I used it all from my little, I call it my art pantry here. I keep everything kind of handy to work. And uh, here we go. So there's your tip, okay? Taking a simple picture, outlining it, and then coloring it. Now, this was inspired by Pablo Picasso. And when he was, and this was in the early 1900s. This is probably the Fauvism mu movement, um, slightly going into uh, post impressionist. That's with all the dots. But we'll get into that in another video. So, markers, colored pencils, crayons, simple. Have some fun, experiment, try different lines. Have some fun and don't be afraid of failure because there is nothing. There's no failure. All it is is experimenting and enjoying the journey. Thanks so much. Like me on my Canada's Art Mama uh, Facebook page, my Art Mama YouTube channel, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks so much. See you again. Bye-bye.